Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Simp, and what I've got for you guys today is something very special. It's a 70 kill TDM challenge in the new 100 kill TDM playlist. It was originated by Scump. I believe he originated this challenge back in Black Ops 3. I've been watching Scump since Black Ops 2 for about 6 years now. He's just been a huge role model for me for content creating, for Call of Duty, for the whole aspect. I've looked up to him. I've been watching him for a long time. He's just a really funny, entertaining dude. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard of him, but yeah, anyway, he was the one that created it, the challenge to get 70 out of 100 of your team's kills in Team Deathmatch. A pretty difficult challenge, it makes it a little bit easier in this game since you get EKI assists. However, it still is a challenge because you have to keep rushing throughout the gameplay, you can't slow down, and you also have to make sure you're getting your streaks while you're rushing, so you have to play smart while you're rushing, can't get killed off your streaks that much. And you really got to hope that your teammates aren't getting a lot of kills. That's the main part. If your teammates get around 20 kills, it's, it's pretty much a wrap. You're not going to be able to get it. I've been going for this challenge for the past couple of weeks, I'd say. Maybe a week, a week and a half. And I'm just glad to finally get it. I was very excited when I did get it. I had multiple games where I got 69 out of the 100 kills. One off. Just very, very upsetting. So when I got on and got this gameplay finally, I was just very, very stoked. I wish I would have got my in-game reaction but my mic was off i was just very very excited once i pulled up the scoreboard and realized that i i did get 70 out of the 100 kills i had been going for it like i said for a minute so i was just very very pumped to finally get it so i can upload it to the channel for you guys if you guys do want to see any other challenges that maybe you can think of just think of something and comment down below if, if it's reasonable for me to go for it then i will go for it for sure Especially if it's something that will be entertaining to you guys. I just I just need to make sure that it will be entertaining to you guys before I go for it. But if it's not, then I'll just keep on uploading the nuclears, the rainbow nukes, and high kill gameplays like I have been. Alright, so let me talk a little bit about the gameplay. I was switching up weapons throughout the gameplay. I was using the KN and the Swordfish. Uh, from my KN57, I was using Stock, Extended Mag, Suppressor, Rapid Fire. And for my Swordfish... I was using hybrid mag, high caliber, and operator mod. I'm going to make a more in-depth video about the swordfish and the operator mod, but the pentaburst operator mod on the swordfish is just extremely overpowered. If you can manage to land four to five of your shots on your opponent, you're pretty much going to manage to one burst them. So this gun is extremely overpowered. If you can throw the operator mod on it, like I said before, the attachments on, on the swordfish in this gameplay are hybrid mag, high caliber and the operator mod the pentaburst in the last update they actually buffed the swordfish so i don't know why you haven't tried this if you haven't already you should definitely be using this gun like i said just throw the pentaburst on it it reminds me of the m8a7 variants from black ops 2 black ops 3 the previous call of duties it's just that overpowered to be honest it might not be as good as the m8a7 variants but it's up there i'm telling you if you if you hit your shots you can get the one burst kills with this weapon let me just mention real quick in the commentary, thank you for all the support on the videos. I've been getting over 20 likes on all of my videos that I've been posting to the YouTube, so I'm just very, very excited to be getting good support from the channel. Uh, I've, I've grown over 300 subscribers in the last month. I've been getting a ton more views on my world record video. It's almost at 500 views, 50 likes, absolutely insanity. I'm just loving the growth in the channel. I'm going to keep bringing you guys insane gameplays, insane content. As long as you guys keep showing me some love on the channel, I'm going to keep on bringing you all the content and all these insane Call of Duty Black Ops 4 gameplays, tips, and tricks, and everything that I can really do to help you guys. With that being said, I'm going to start to wrap up the commentary. If you guys do want to go for this challenge, feel free to at me or follow me on Twitter and send me a screenshot of your results. Uh, I'm interested to see if any of you guys can actually complete this challenge. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge to go for. It can be kind of aggravating when you don't get it. But other than that, guys, it's been your boy Simp. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I'm going to be streaming and uploading more videos throughout the week. So turn on the post notifications, the bell. Click the bell by my channel if you haven't already. And other than that, guys, it's been your boy Simp, and I'm signing out. See you.